Hi, this is Mark Mitchell, back again with uh, another uh, review of uh, manufacturer websites, uh, their dealer locators, to see uh, if they hit the mark. And today, we're going to review uh, Firestone. So let me uh, share my screen here real quick. So, nice, clean website here from, uh, from Firestone, uh, a leader in commercial building products. And uh, one of the things that, uh, well, let's see, move this over here. Uh, one of the things I noticed right away up here at the top, find a sales rep, find a contractor. Right there where it should be, easy to find, and plain English. I also like, they're going to hit it again down here, find a sales rep or a contractor where I can do a drop down to the contractor. Now, uh, so this is uh, you know, very important to uh, make it as easy for the customer as possible. If that's what they want is to, they're at the stage, they want to find a contractor or a rep that you make it as easy as possible for them to do that. So now we go there. And uh, this is uh, one just, just suggestion. I've started to notice how people are making a good use of this header area, maybe to talk a little bit about why their contractors are qualified or excellent or good, so forth. And so uh, I'll put in my zip code here and we'll take a look. And uh, we come right down to, uh, you know, we're used to seeing a map, but in the case of a contractor, you know, we're probably not going to go visit them. They're going to come visit us. So maybe the map is not so important, but I did notice where I could view it on the map here if I wanted. Um, and that there's 14 licensed contractors. Uh, I, I look over here and I can sort by name contains, by distance, by license, by awards. And uh, so then when I look here first at, at B&M Roofing of Colorado, okay, I see their name and that's, that's great. I see how far they are from Boulder um, and I see what their awards are. I think this is more a statement to the contractor than to, uh, let's say, the, the customer who may not understand what these awards mean. And then we have a phone number, an email, and then the website. Now up here, I see an MC and an IQC have no idea what those mean. And so um, so this is something that makes the contractor feel good or different, but it would seem like if there was something up here explaining what is MC or IQC and why is that important uh, would be helpful. Now, if I, so I'm right now told to go either call the contractor direct or email the contractor direct or go to their website, okay? And so it's, that's very easy and convenient the, the problem is when I do that, I've now left Firestone. So Firestone has worked hard to bring me to their website, to tell me why their products are better, perhaps to uh, get me to um, you know, request a sample or something. So they've started probably to nurture me somehow. But then when they go here and they just send me off, uh, on my own to the contractor, then uh, all of a sudden, you know, the, I've, I've now left. And, uh, and so by having, uh, like we've seen some other companies uh, like uh, GAF Residential, where, you know, they'll, you'll click on this and it'll be a landing page that tells me more about the contractor. And when I want to make a, a talk to them, it kind of goes through uh, the company's uh, site to get to the contractor. So I now know that somebody uh, has requested a meeting or important so, uh, appointment. So I know that they're in the market. Now, uh, this one, um, I think it was right here that I looked at earlier, just real quick. So I looked here at uh, D7 Roofing. Now, this is the other problem that happens. So we look here at D7 Roofing. It's simple. We work. Now, Firestone brought me here. But when I start to scroll down here, all of a sudden I go, oh, look, they not only have Firestone, they have Carlisle, they have Manville you know, in, in the commercial area. Uh, so how does uh, Firestone know that this uh, contractor isn't going to switch uh, switch the customer over to a competing brand uh, how does the perhaps the uh the contractor even know that the lead came from firestone uh, unless the customer would say something and so that's you know one of the other challenges when you just send somebody right to the dealer is they can they can go to you know uh they can go to someone else uh, and so that 
you know, so you you want to uh, ideally maintain, be stay involved. I guess you know, maintain control of that inquiry or lead, or to stay in, uh, uh, you know, stay involved with it because you've you've spent a lot of money on advertising, marketing, sales, and so forth to create a great name with your company, like Firestone, to get people interested. And, and then it seems like there's this big like hole, if you will, in the sales funnel that is like, I'm going to send somebody to one of my contractors and I don't know that I've sent them there. Uh, the contractor doesn't know that they came from Firestone and uh, the contractor you know, is pretty easy, pretty easy for them to switch to uh, to another solution, even though Firestone was the one that, you know, brought the uh, inquiry to the contractor. So that's an important thing to, uh, you know, to keep in mind is a, gra a great example of this is this is, you know, I think this is very well done. I just think that, boy, if they if they tie in that uh, uh, other component of it, where in order to get to B&M, the easiest way is to go through Firestone uh, to get to B&M. Um, they would uh, see a lot more return on this, and they'd also be able to say to their contractors, you know, look, we brought you this many inquiries last month or last uh, quarter, uh, and uh, you've only closed this many. What happened? Or what are we doing wrong? Or are you switching our customers? Um, and also, if it's a really big opportunity, the Firestone rep might want to be involved <laughs> with the contractor trying to land it. So those are some things that I, I think here that could be improved uh, to make this uh, locator work even even better for Firestone. So I think uh, you know I think overall they're doing a good job, but they could do, they could take it to another level. So so I'm going to judge it at a nine point two is my score today so uh if you'd like me to review your site please let me know otherwise just check back each week and we'll be uh reviewing uh a new uh building material company's locator site and uh just to see how it's performing good better best